Three favourite throws. My favourite three favourite throws. Yeah, go on. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Wayne. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the Judo Way of Life. I uh, hope you are well. I'm David. And I'm Rob. <laughs> He's fucking <laughs> sidekick. <laughs> Now, we both have very different styles of judo. Uh, today, what we were gonna look at were our three favorite throws and how we aspire to do them in competition and in randori situation. This style of throw, um, the way I like to try and do it is to get a bit of the movement first. So on the sleeve uh, and the lapel, um, I try to bring my partner around. And then as a stepping round, I'm preempting the step to, to get the, the foot sweep. So again, step, as I bring my partner around, I step bringing their feet together. Uh, I'm aiming to catch their foot. As you can see, I'm aiming to catch their foot at the bottom. And the point that I want to make contact is right before Rob returns the balance onto this leg. So again, as I step around, I'm catching it just as his balance is about to, his weight is about to return to that foot. Obviously if I'm too slow, I'm just gonna end up kicking his foot. He's gonna have his weight distributed evenly between his two legs. The way I do this one, and the way someone explained it to me was that I try to cut through directly up where something like Harai we take the other leg and we're cutting on a bit more of an angle which you might really take the, the middle line now again I do the other versions you know if we're going left and I can't make that if I can't make that movement in time you know I might take the left leg instead and use a lot more arms. I think fundamentally with Uchimata is if if I have if I have a if I take it through the middle and don't pull out halfway, we got a good we got a good uh, good chair. And the other thing I think the best way to do the Uchikomi for this as well is it's because it's one of those ones where you need the full throw for it to really learn from it or to get anything from. So what I do with the uh, Chikomi, instead of just stepping in and not moving this foot, I'm trying to get that foot off the ground because it mimics that final throw. If you get lazy and it starts going, it's not the full movement. And again, just like because Dave's taller, there might be, maybe he could step off the yeah. If I did a leg one, if I had to come in, and if we might end up in this position. So, yeah, there's, there's, other, there's always another side to the coin. But, I think it's a good throw. Yeah, next one. situation I get into because I'm a bit of a taller player. Uh, when I'm on the lapel, I end up getting a bit of uh, the, the posture broken of my partner. Now, depending on how they react, when I pull down, if the person pulls their head up when I let go, I look to try and do the Koshi Garuma. Uh, now, if I don't get that kind of reaction, <laughs> pull my partner in. Okay, in this position, and if when I release the grip a little bit, give them a little bit of sugar, and if they don't react and lift up, and they stay in this bent posture, I'll readjust my grip, and I'm looking to try and take hold of their belt, and then from here, I'm just going to step across, 
and a big pull and lift. So if we do that, so here, pull, change to the belt, move around. So just so you see for the difference, if we pull down and the head pops up, I'll catch the head, I'm coming for the Koshigaruma, uh, and then if I'm pulling down, I'm stuck in this position, and I release a little bit and I don't get that reaction, I'll change my grip, it's on the belt, step in. I like the throw, it's easy to understand, I mean the mechanics of it is you, you load them up on the shoulder and you send it, which is good, but getting into it, I find myself, this is what I often found, and I'm thinking, oh, like, oh it's a shoulder throw, it's a shoulder throw, so then when I go in, I end up in this position, and I can't can't get it further across. I'm in a really bad spot. If Dave decides to sit backwards, it's no good. And this is a real occurrence that happened all the time as I'd be in the be inside, be in a pocket, like this. And never make a full turn. I think why why is that? I think what it is, is where the arm, it's understanding that it is a rotation, but if I'm too close. Because it is, it is a close throw, but it's not the distance of where my arm is. If, it's, if I'm out here, I use the pull to cover the distance. I'm not, I'm not trying to walk into it. I want him to go. So you can see that even from a full, full completely stretched distance, we're in, as we pull, we turn so we can get him we can get in the full way around. It, even if you didn't get the throw, the point is this position, to be stuck in here, sideways where he can take me back, it's just not, it's just not a place you want to be. So, what I'm saying is, is this arm, and the distance of where you would enter and make that turn, makes a difference in the throw. What about you, what do you think? Okay. Yeah. I think the, the rotation at the end as well, as Rob hasn't mentioned. So when Rob's coming in, it's, the, it's this continuation of where his head's going and he's going uh, and looking, looking behind, which really finishes off the throw. If you end up coming in and not doing that, just getting this position, even if you get the rotation round, you get stuck, you get someone who's defending here, it's that rotation and the continuous, continuous movement that's going to really, well, really helps finish this throw off. So if Rob does it again to the completion. I'm back on the sleeve and lapel. In this extreme left and right position. And what I'm looking to try and generate is to get my partner to step to step with their left foot from here so once I've generated the movement that could be from being putting pressure and getting a bit of a, a reaction across here so I'm looking to draw my partner on I'm not quite pulling them if I'm not pulling them too much they're going to move too fast with the leg that I'm trying to catch. Now I'm trying to catch the bottom of my partner's foot. I've curved my foot around here and I'm trying to just knock it out of the bottom. Again, same principles as with the Akurashi Harai in the sense that I'm trying to catch Rob's foot just before his weight returns and he gains balance in this leg. So as he's stepping, drawing that foot out um, and guiding them along and with my arms I'm dropping 
my elbow into the chest, sleeve pin to the, the hip, and then to the leg, and then down to finish the throw. Really cuts through. Some of the ones where you spin around and take them. But for this particular one, I like the single step. And hooking it around. The hand position, it's like it's down. And as long as your head's on the other side, if I don't have this grip, I could have I could have this grip. As long as I pull down. And I make that talk with uh, my wrist. Like, I try to get my knuckles up and my palm down. And once that, once I have that, it works a bit more. If I, my head's still here versus, Dave's really tall, so I'm, I'm I almost put, trying to put my head through his shoulder. But, again, if the, if I've got weight going down on his left and on his right, as long as that foot comes through, we should be good. So yeah, that's my three. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Good. So it's hot. What we got? Yeah, it's absolutely roasting here. Yeah, it's a warm one. We're in uh, Sydney, Australia. Very toasty. There's no uh, no place for a northern Englishman. Used to the cold. Where are we? What are we up to? Right, so three. I did Kurashi Harai, Kochigari, and the Surigoshi slash sort of snook in the Koshigaruma. And then you've got your the Ochigari, Uchimata, Ponsinagi, and Uchimata. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're the three. And they're like, so these, not like our only three throws, but definitely three throws that we have a more of a, a bias towards. Yeah. We use them quite regular in. And Randori and <laughs> aspire to use them in competitions. Not always the success, but we aim, we aim for the success. So, uh, yeah, uh, have a little play around with them. If those are throws that you already do, awesome. Uh, if not, give them a go next time you're training. Uh, and yeah, thank you for watching. Yeah. See you later, guys.